Hey there, glad to have you here. Today I'm going to show you how I use a Perplexity AI to do research whenever I have to write an article and I don't know much about the topic. So Perplexity AI has pretty much become my go-to uh, search engine since Google is now giving results with AI and it's not as good as it used to be. So if you're having issues with Google, Perplexity AI, AI is definitely the answer. And I'm going to show you a couple of things I do when I'm researching for topics and uh, that, I, that also help me cover a couple of things that will help me when I'm creating the content and after it's done. So my, my search is going to be how has AI affected content quality in 2024? This is a very heavy topic and very controversial as well because a lot of people say like, yeah, definitely has affected uh, content quality uh, negatively because now there's a bunch of AI generated articles and uh, there's also people defending AI. So yeah, I would like to get to know uh, more about this topic. So let's go and search that. Okay, so now that you have done the research using Perplexity AI and you have this article generated, you can do uh, pretty much four things. And uh, you can read each one of the articles and um, use the articles to extract the information directly from them. Uh, but if you're like me, then you probably want to uh, check out a summary because they are full, full articles that are pretty long. So yeah, I'm going to use a simple, uh, a simple prompt to create a summary of these specific articles and of each one to, so I can get a better picture because sometimes this uh, perplexity AI can omit some uh, part of the information. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here I am with ChatGPT and here's the prompt I'm gonna use. Please read this article and write a summary using layman's terms. Also take every word you, considered, you consider industry jargon and explain it briefly and add one example for each one after the summary. Okay. So I'm going to paste, I'm going to copy and paste the whole article. Okay, so as you can see, now you have a summary of the whole article that is much shorter. And I'm pretty sure it included some information that wasn't in the perplexity AI response. So, and as you can see here is the jargon used, the technical language used in the articles. So for example, GDP, ChatGPT, obviously we know what that is. Annual, gro an annual growth rate, uh, work workforce displacement. So yeah, as you can see now we have a summary that we can use to actually uh, go deeper uh, within the topic. Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna do is actually go even deeper down the rabbit hole of <laughs> how AI is affecting content quality in 2024. And to do that, we're going to do something very simple. And uh, once again, we're going to copy the whole article and we're going to check out a HTML text to HTML converter. And I like to use this one. And what we're going to do is uh, very simple. We're going to use a prompt to extract pretty much every uh, link inside the article. Okay, so here's the prompt we are going to use. Please check the following article and find all the links in the text. Give me back a list, a list. And we're gonna paste the article again in HTML format. So let's paste it and <laughs> deep. And let's check out the results. Forbes, it's really, it's really self-centered, <laughs> aren't they? So yeah, anyway, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna allow you to check out every link without actually reading the original content. And you're gonna be able to check out each one of the articles that the main article is linking to. And this is gonna give you a lot more information and you can repeat this process to become an expert on pretty much any topic. Now, the last thing you can do is actually using these uh, links and the ones you get from each one of these articles and uh, cite them as sources for your own article 
or reuse them as external links, which is going to be great because you must optimize everything you write. Now, for the content itself, you have to write it yourself or instruct the AI to write it, which takes a lot of time. I'm actually planning to create a video on how to write articles using ChatGPT or Claude 3.5 Sonnet. That's coming. And I already can tell you that it takes a long time to write a high quality article using these AI tools because they are not quite there yet. Now, as a solution, I definitely recommend you try out Journalist AI. Journalist AI is an amazing tool that allows you to research keywords and place them inside the tool and the tool writes all the content itself on its own. And you have to do uh, pretty much an initial setup and it will get the job done for you automatically. Once the articles are ready, you can also uh, publish them to your website automatically, uh, whether that's a WordPress site or several other automations or for example, Zapier and many more. Here you can see the features, Shopify, Wix, Webflow, Blogger, and there are more coming. And you can also syndicate the content to your social media and the AI creates amazing posts that are definitely engaging and great to gain more followers and more stuff like that. All of these features turn Journalist AI into the all-in-one ultimate tool for solopreneurs, journalists, content creators, agencies, and all kinds of digital professionals. If all that sounds too good to be true, I definitely recommend you check out this website, tryjournalist.com, to get these three articles for free and try these features on your own. And that's it for today. If you found this video useful, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more useful SEO and AI-related content. Until next time.